Well, I've, I've greatly enjoyed my three days here in Barisal. This is my final stop, and I think it's appropriate that I come to this historic church because I've already visited a historic mosque, an historic temple, and now I come to this iconic, world-famous church, which just talks to the this division's history and how important the the legacy of preserving places of faith is to the people of, of Barishal. It was enjoyable meeting a young people at all of the houses of, and places of worship, and it was really interesting to me to hear how the communities get along in this division, which is which could be a lesson. Uh, not just for Bangladesh, but for the world, for my country as well. Yeah. Overall, I've, I've loved my time here in Barishal. I, th it's, I think I've told you before, in my first eight months as U.S. Ambassador, I've visited all eight divisions now. But there's something about Barishal that makes it especially unique, even beyond its unique geography, um, its beautiful scenery with, with the rivers and the, and the lovely greens and the way you're dealing with um, uh, climate resilience. Uh, there's a real warmth here that uh, is, is very, very appealing, and I'll certainly be back. And I'm certainly grateful for the opportunity to come to come and visit. So thank you, John. Thank you. And, and Bangladesh. Well, Bangladesh is a is a country that, as you travel around, you can feel the energy of a nation that will soon play a much larger role on the regional and global stage, and a country that's uh, journey. A short 58, uh, 48 years ago, soon to be 50, uh, as, as we celebrate the 50th year of independence, has been absolutely remarkable. And that development journey, along with the ongoing democratic journey, is going to see this country take its place on, on the global stage in a really, really interesting way. I, there's no place else in the world I'd rather be the U.S. ambassador than in Bangladesh right now. Thank, Thank you. you.